Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mike Foster Outdoors. Um, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is day number two of stop number one, Toyota Series Plains Division at Kentucky Lake. I had a pretty good day on day one. We were sitting in 65th and we had 158 boats in this event and there's a lot of hammers in it. As you can see here, my co-angler Bo, we're just heading down to the boat ramp. Bo and I had a good day fishing out on water. He's a pretty good guy. Both of us caught several fish. And um, not a spoiler alert, but we had something kind of crazy happen with the GoPro. So you might see that in this video. But again, thanks for stopping by. Follow along with the video and see what we catch. Dude, he's got the deepest wells ever. I see, saw that. The bass cast I've never had. He used to have a cobra. I had a solid red cobra years ago. That drew gill, you probably already got 20 in the well. <laughs> that dude's a hammer. Alright, Cole, your turn. Maybe you flip one up now. What are you flipping on there? Just a little creature, baby. Yeah. There's one. Okay, 
like it might Looks be. Looks like he's pulling for you, man. Try it, but All right, yeah. right behind me. I thought I'm trying to do something different. I I know you're catching one, but I don't like throwing the exact same thing. That's what I mean. I got, actually got two more of these. Yeah. I got some crankbaits that look like actually. I don't like throwing the same thing. I know it. Fifteen and three quarters. How many? Fifteen and three quarters. God, I need that fish. I'm gonna get one eventually. I mean, we're around. I ain't. I ain't saying I know there's a bunch of fish, but we've been around for fish. Guys, here's a little tip. I got this crankbait hung up on something, and I could see it, but I couldn't get it off of there with the pole reeling down to it. You can see it like that, and it's a special bait that you like. Just put your net down in there. More often than not, you're gonna be able to pull up whatever it's hung on. This particular instance, I hung on a rope off of an old anchor. Guys, we're headed down to Jonathan Creek. Um, if you notice here, you'll see the channel buoys coming up. The lake's still at Winter Pool. You always want to pay attention to where those channel markers are and stay inside of them. This run down to Jonathan Creek ends up paying off big time for a co-angler bow. Just like that, Bo's got to keep her in the live well. God, look at that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll keep her. Oh, yeah. The only way we can catch one is cranking around the nose of a point. I'll get that out. He did really good on day one, so he figured he just needed a couple fish to make day three. The water got a little more color down here for that red. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, 
good job. Number two in the box. That's gonna help him. Oh yeah. Said you needed two. You got two chunky ones. I caught a four pounder on this point my first day of practice. The whole reason why we came back to this area because that was four days prior to when we're there right now. I was hoping that fish would bite again. Coming back out of Jonathan Creek, this is where the camera goes south. Pop the rivets out of my navigation port. Switch that out with screws. At least my camera's still there. That'll be an interesting video. It's waterproof. Within 15 minutes of the camera going in the drink, luckily we didn't lose it. I caught this giant drum close to 35 to 40 pounds. That'd have been good to get on film. I don't think it's going to make the cut. Brent Gish, Evansville, Indiana co-angler, 13-7. On day one, a great start to the events. Two more today that way, 4-11, 18-2. Holding down the number five spot right now. Good work. Mike Foster, Terre Haute, Indiana pro. A solid day one bag, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. Had to go get a big bag today to make that cut. He went for them. We got four that weigh nine pounds, 10 ounces, 22-4. 22nd place right now, Mike. Bo Bivens, co-anger out of Evansville, Indiana. 10-11 yesterday. Had yourself in great shape. Three more today that weigh eight pounds, 13 ounces, 19-8. Moving all the way to third place. I think we'll I think we'll see you tomorrow. Big bass right now is only 6-11. Woo, scared him to death. 